I want to talk about, about our aim to give students more consistent feedback. How do we do this? By using verbal feedback. <laughs> verbal feedback is kind of a pun. It means feedback to verbal presentations, but also feedback that not just consists of keywords, but is explained in whole phrases and structured text. The authors of this tool at our University of Applied Sciences analyze that oftentimes students do presentation throughout their studies and curricula. That presentation are graded by different lecturers and each and every lecturer has a different set of her and his criteria. That isn't really good for the student's point of view because it's hard then to track on which point you make progress and on which aspects then you might be stuck. So the aim is to have as much lecturers and as much classes use same feedback criteria for presentations. With this in mind, a criteria scheme was developed and reviewed and a Moodle activity was programmed. Here's verbal feedback. With verbal feedback, after his or her presentation, a student gets rated and commented feedback on the set criteria. She or he can then download his or her report. The feedback can be done by more than one lecturer simultaneously, and the resulting grade is the average of the grades, and the added comments are the combination of all the comments of all grading lecturers. Let us look on how that feels in the user interface. So a lecturer adds a verbal feedback activity. I'm sorry if this is a little bit small. I encourage you to then maybe try it out by installing the plugin at your place or looking at the, at the PowerPoint presentation when it will be online. I'm sorry about that, but this is a real user interface. I didn't want to enlarge it uh, on some, in, in some irrational scale. It really does look like that. So a lecture, as I said, adds a verbal feedback activity and selects a template. As of now, the templates that are delivered alongside with this plugin come in French, German, and English. Alongside the template selection, they also choose whether the students see the feedback right away or only after they are released. This is the default grading criteria, and criteria are grouped to categories. That comes along with the standard verbal feedback plugin. It aims at verbal presentations, presentations that students do give in front of you. And it has categories of content, structure, media, speech, and body language. How do students perform in these five categories with, the, will at the end then be illustrated to the students not only in a table, but also in a spider graph. We will see that later on. Now, if I just want four categories, for example, if media isn't important because they are not allowed to use any media, then I would just turn the percentage to zero and equalize the rest in order to sum it up to 100% again. A 0% category is not displayed neither in the grading form, not in the result, nor in the result sheet. The criteria that make up a category can be weighted between each other. If I want one to be more, weight more than the other, I would just increase the multiplier. A criterion with the multiplier of zero isn't displayed in the sheet. Once done with my customizations, I can preview the evaluation sheet or make it available right away. Then a lecture or multiple lecturers, as I said, can go and grade a student who does a verbal presentation. This is the overview of the students about to do a presentation, and with a pen, I would go and grade that student. So, let's say the student does his or her presentation. During the presentation, a lecturer signs the grades by clicking, you see that, 
which are on a six level scale. For the first time you do this, I recommend that you print that out or you have the teacher first learn all the criteria, adopt to the questionnaire uh, beforehand. But so far, that wouldn't be very different from a usual rubric, isn't it? Here's where the added value kicks in. This is the detail rating. For each criterion, different feedback sentences are prepared. When clicking on the plus sign on the, at the right, left-hand side of this criterion, those sentences are presented upon hovering over the four buttons, the minus, minus, the minus, the plus, and the plus, plus. When clicking on one of these four options, that sentence, that phrase, is added in the student comment field. The comment field obviously can as well be amended then, but the phrases added by those button clicks are a great starting point. There is also a private comment field as well, which is not visible to students and only visible to lecturers, so she or he can annotate something which she then will be later taking up when she refines that feedback sentence or the feedback field for this criterion. The combined results of all grading lectures are then presented to the student who is graded. This means that the scores values, as I said, consist of the mean of all grading lectures and the single comments are merged together to form aggregated feedback. Uh, to recap, uh, so the downloadable uh, PDF file looks like this and of course you can, uh, in your Moodle instance, change the logo to have the one of your institution. To recap, these are the four steps. So you configure the questionnaire, you insert activity, configure the questionnaire and adjust what criteria you want, what uh, categories you want to exclude, include, weight differently. Then during the presentation, you do a rough evaluation, look at the student, take some notes, you click maybe some of the, of the values. Then you can do the fine evaluation of the presentation insert the phrases, the preformed phrases, and maybe also adopt them, refine them a little bit. And at the final phase, you present that feedback, you release it to the students so that they can uh, watch and see their results and also download their sheet. Well, it's a quite versatile thing, although we uh, deliver this with that proved and proofreading uh, standard feedback that we need for your, our own users. But for example, the Ecole Hôtelière de Lausanne, which is a faculty that teaches manage, hotel manager students, adopted it to their own needs. So they have different criteria. They have um, attendance or, well, even I can't read it, so it's a professional attitude and they have prepared their own feedback sentences to the different scales of how these points are um, achieved or not. We're not done completely because we could go also further on. What could we do or what is still lacking? At the moment, this activity is just to grade single students, so it has no group mode. We could build in group mode, maybe. Initially, there was the idea that we can also allow peers to review other students to review all the students. That doesn't work very fine. Um, you can't just cope with uh, giving them the, 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 the teacher role because otherwise they would overwrite or delete things. That isn't the way to go. You could uh, add testing, more, some more on the programming side, and import Xbox functionality for questionnaires so that you can create your criteria, uh, criteria and then export it and share it between institutions or faculties or, or departments. And another idea is why wouldn't we use that also for written assignments or for video presentation or something like that. These all, all, are all open points. Uh, to customize user interface, pretty simple. I won't go into that very deep, but uh, 
with this, I'm just happy to answer maybe some questions of, or hear if you have some remarks. Thanks, Luca. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have a question. We'll get a mic to you in the center there, please. Hi. Um, do you, <coughs> sorry. Um, the when you download the plug, um, sorry, the activity. Does it come with all the um, example feedback and criteria that you demoed, or do you have to do that from scratch yourself? It's it's in it's in the download. Yeah, it's in the download, and technically it's it's a, it's a YAML file. Um, they look a little bit like these, but it's included, but only in German, French, uh, English. Mm, yeah. Uh, the, the other languages are not included in the Amos strings because it's a whole bunch and it's in this format. But if you go download it today, it's, it's in the official Moodle plugin directory. If you go download it today, you can start in two minutes and try it on. Yeah, go. Can, follow up, sorry. With the, does it have the same sort of grading as in the assessment tool? So you can do the same sort of grading? So it, it grades back to the grade book, that's your question? Yeah, it, 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 it grades back to the grade book, yes, yeah. Anyone else? Thank you for all the work, by the way, this is cool. Um, just a question about the um, uh, learner's view, like how would they, what do they see uh, from the grid? Because there was no like screens showing, uh, you know, the result. I'm not loud enough, uh, normally I am. <laughs> Sorry, about the learner's view, like how, um, what does the learner see uh, from this grid? The learner see the table with, the, with their, with their, with their uh, means and all their uh, feedback comments. Um, I've, here it's, here that is, that is the visualization. So they see the, uh, at, the, at the left hand side, they see the mean and at the right hand side, they see the uh, feedback to that criterion. So they see the grade on how that contributed to the total of that grade. And if that is the web version, then in the PDF version, they would see the same thing. Hi, Lukas, Gerge, Tiovin. Uh, I have a question um, to this. Okay. So uh, can you hear me now? Okay, the spider diagram, so this is the visualization for the student, um, and is there a comparison to other students' results as well, or it's just an individual one? No, there's no uh, comparison to the other student as well. But what the thinking was that if a lot of uh, verbal feedbacks or feedbacks for to presentation are done with the same tool, the students then overall his or her curricula can see that they hopefully increased in some criterion and, and see that in the category of body language I've improved that in the category of, of media I, I may have stuck or even decreased. So that is that is idea. It, it's, it's more about comparing it to my former verbal presentation and not between students itself. So it has, it has no comparison, no overlaying other ones. It's a spider diagram that you have compared by yourself. Do you have any Oh, sorry. Do you have any thoughts or experience with uh, presentations where the, the graders are all the peers, all the peer students? So a class of 20, one is presenting, all others are commenting, and then the next one is starts to present, and so on and so forth. No, we have not, because it's not really, it's not really working in that version. So we are very open to uh, issues, pull requests. It's, 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 uh, the, it's on GitHub in a directory. And if you have some developer who likes to contribute, so she or he can very well uh, present their pull request and maybe uh, develop one of these features. Yeah. 